basketball, every player on the court has an important role to play. The skills of each individual are linked together to form the chain that is the team. But in some cases, there is one player, one link, that holds the chain together. And where is that link located? For the Siganella girls basketball team, you can find it in the center. She's a big, a big part of the team. She's, she's a rarity in any school, in any level. She's Tania. Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. People may say I'm the best player in my town, so like, I have more than just being a best player. I have to push myself to be even better than what I am now. So I don't really consider myself being a, the better player on the team, because everyone equally is a good player. As a team captain, Tania Strobridge has become a role model to the younger players on the team. She's a leader by her athleticism, by her basketball skills. So I think that naturally makes the girls look up to her. The regular season is over, and with the tournament just around the corner, there is still plenty of work to be done. But don't expect to find any weak links on this team. The Lady Jags have set the bar high for themselves, and you can bet they'll be up to the challenge. We have a really good team with a strong foundation and a strong base, and we are capable of so many things. We will win championships. that we come out, start the game strong. My name is Brad Raywalt and I'm the varsity basketball coach of the Patch High School team. Well, I've coached basketball for a lot of years and uh, I, I like getting involved with the kids that are uh, in the high school. You see a different side of the kids. Sometimes in class there's a lot of stress from the academics. When you see them out on the court and you get to interact with them in a different, in a different situation, it's a lot of fun. And I like the competition. Uh, the kids play hard, they work hard, and it's, it's nice, it's a lot of fun to see them become successful. Coach is a very smart man. <laughs> he teaches a lot of subjects, but he knows the game very well, and I think he can give us the mental aspect while we do all the dirty work. It's really concentrating on playing team basketball, uh, working together as a cohesive unit and the kids have done a super job. I'm uh, really happy to be coaching uh, the patch team this year. So I just appreciate the chance to be, uh, to be able to work with them. To be a successful team player, you have to know your teammates, how they move, how they react, and where they are at all times. The RAF Lake and Heath Lancers are fortunate enough to have two co-captains who've played together for the past two seasons. Me and Chris have been playing together for two years, and I like to think she knows me like the back of her hand. She knows where I'm going to run, when I'm going to run there. She knows the perfect pass for me. We've been playing together long enough where I know what I can do for her, and she knows what she can do for me. So as she runs point, I mean, she controls the ball. I just try and help her out wherever I can. Like we're friends off the court, so I think that really helps a lot with our playing together on the court. We just kind of have chemistry, and we kind of know like how each other plays, so we can play off of that and work with each other. They work together well, well enough for Jordan to lead in points and Kristen to lead in assists. 
well, you have a great ball handler and a great shooter, and also the ball handler is a great shooter. So they, they mix really good, especially with give and goes. They can read each other. She knows that if she passes out to Kristen, Kristen will be there to either call a play, bring it back out, or she'll shoot. So they, they work together really well on their shoot and pass game. And then everyone else, that's the big thing though, is that you can have them, but everyone else has to come up to, to support because it's five on the floor and all the girls are working together. When they aren't working together or aren't as intense as they need to be, Jordan comes through with just the right amount of motivation. I'd say it helps a lot because a lot of girls, they're not as into basketball as we are. So sometimes they just want to kind of have more fun than work hard. So when Jordan yells at them, it makes them stay focused pretty much. It's very positive. When Jordan has something to say and when Jordan is on, she will take the team and bring it up to her level with her rebounds, with her shooting, with her passing. And what happens with that is if she's off, the other girls know they need to pump her up because they, they really do evolve around Jordan right now. And since she's a co-captain, she's more than willing to take on that responsibility. If it's good, like what I'm saying is good, then they're happy, but obviously if, if they don't like what I have to say, they don't like it, but um, my team likes to tell me that it gets them hyped up. I mean, when you hear someone talking to you, giving you positive, negative, whatnot, you always want to strive for it. So my team appreciates it most of the time, unless I'm getting on them about something. It's easy for her to stay focused because she's grown up around basketball her whole life. People in my family have been playing basketball since forever. My brother's in college playing, my dad played, my mom played. My dad actually played in this gym when I was little and so did my mom. Um, and I just love the game. Kristen, on the other hand, didn't grow up around basketball, but has enjoyed it ever since she started playing. I started playing in fourth grade and at the school that I was going to, that was the only sport they had. So I just wanted to play. No one in my family like really plays it. I just wanted to try something new and I was good at it, so kept with it. Basketball to me is a family and we work together and um, I feel like in school it helps because when you're on the team, you're family and if you need help, you're not afraid to ask. I mean, the whole point of the team being here is that we can help each other and create a family-like lifestyle for everybody. So if someone needs help in school, they're not afraid to go up and ask someone else they see at practice or vice versa, when you're at school and you understand something, you come to practice or you let out your frustrations or you talk to each other, you become best friends on this team. Me and Kristen met playing basketball together last year in school, here, vacation, whatever. That's my best friend in the world. Coach Archer says they'll need that sense of family and teamwork in order to be successful not only in the court, but in life. Tech Sergeant Lance Stagel, RAF Lakenheath, United Kingdom. Towards the end of this year's basketball season, the Aviano Saints traveled to Vicenza to take on the Vicenza Cougars varsity boys and girls teams. These are some of the highlights. Tatiana Miranda taking it coast to coast. And oh. butters three. For three, oh. he hits it. Terrell Gandy, pull up jumpers, good. Instead of just videotaping this game, the entire sporting event was actually broadcast live by the AFN Vicenza crew which broke down into two different halves, the video side and the engineering side. We came up with a plan on how to technically, the technical aspects of doing an actual live basketball broadcast, which included where we're gonna set the equipment, cable lens, setting up with AFN Europe, when we're gonna actually shoot, make sure we have time on air to actually put it out. The first game broadcast was the Varsity Girls game on the Vicenza channel and also streaming live on the internet for international views. Viewers all over the world were able to watch as the Saints females finished the fourth quarter with a score of 44 to 37. The other half of the AFN team was the video side, which was in charge of shooting the game and deciding which angles would fit the situation best. 
This team was made up of the two camera operators, a director, technical director, and a floor director. I operated camera number one, and basically what we had were a two camera setup, and we switched between both cameras, uh, getting the most relevant plays, uh, the best plays, and the best action between the two cameras. I think it's important to have live television, especially in, in sports, high school sports within Dodds, because first off, it gives a sense of community to, to be able to bring people in that can't make it to the game to watch. Um, but also, it even allows people back in the States to take part in these events. Uh, you can have some grandparents sitting back home in, in the States watching in live because we're streaming the event. Um, and it really closes that gap of that you know, 3,000 mile ocean that we have between us and kind of makes it right next door when you can share an event like a local sporting event uh, with family and friends around the world. And the other great thing is it also allows for soldiers downrange to watch their kids play high school sports while they're deployed that they may not otherwise get to see. The last game went to the Cougar Males with a score of 76 to 56. The boys team may have won, but AFN Vicenza's main focus was to show this game live to the greater Vicenza audience and to the families all around the world. And as the buzzer sounded, Number 24, Jalen Tindall, and that's that mission became a resounding success. Army Sergeant Tony McCaslin, Vicenza, Italy.